The purpose of this video is to help students who only have about one to three weeks to study for IELTS to create a study schedule that is going to meet your needs and help you the most to do the best you can on the exam. Now we have one week and one month study schedules posted in the notes below this lesson and you should certainly refer to those but everybody's needs and everybody's timing is a little bit different, okay? Uh, you may not have a few hours every day to study. You may only have a short time, or you may have quite a bit of time in the next uh, couple of weeks to devote to IELTS study, and, and maybe you can do more than what's listed there. So the purpose of this video is to help you to think about how to prioritize your studying and what you should focus on as you prepare in one to three weeks for the IELTS. Okay, so for you students that have one to three weeks to study, your top priority is to learn about the test, okay? You need to know what to expect in each of the four sections, okay? So you need to learn about them. We've got introductory videos that, that will introduce you to important elements of each of the four sections, but of course you should also look through uh, sample tests, okay? Uh, and sample questions to know what to expect on the different parts of the test. Okay, what's the timing, for example, of the writing section? Okay, you've got an hour, but to only 20 minutes is for task one and 40 minutes is for task two. Okay, all of that kind of information you need to know in order to do your best on each of the four sections. Okay, so study all of those basic videos and lessons that we have uh, and really learn about what you can expect on all four sections of the exam. All right, now you should also uh, learn about each of the question types, especially for listening and reading, where there are a variety of different questions, and each one has its own kind of unique way for you to answer, and uh, so you need to be very familiar with those, okay? So um, you, should, you should, when you get to the reading section, be able to see a true, false, not given question, for example, and you should know exactly what you're supposed to do strategically to answer those questions. On the listening section, you should know how to answer uh, short answer questions, for example, uh, the ones where you have word limits that you have to follow very closely. All right, all of the basic information is really critical to know about each of the question types. So focus your attention on learning, taking as many practice questions questions as you can and watching the videos as well to learn about the question types and strategies for each one. Okay, uh, the next priority for you is to learn about scoring, okay, especially uh, I think the writing and speaking section where they use the band score descriptors uh, that kind of, it's a rubric that, that indicates each of the band score levels. You should know that very well. We've got examples of those linked below and they're also linked in many of your other videos in each of those sections. So you should get to know those and as you do practice questions for speaking and writing, you should try to study those and if at all possible get feedback from someone about how they think you did according to the IELTS rubric. Uh, a native speaker of course would be ideal for that situation but if you've got a study partner or if you're just uh, scoring yourself you should spend some time thinking about how the speaking and writing sections are scored and then of course the reading and, and listening too uh, although that's just a standardized test where the number of questions you get correct uh, will indicate your score. Okay, anyway, uh, learn about scoring so that you know how your band score uh, is calculated on the test. All right, finally then, um, you should practice and learn about the various strategies for timing, especially in the reading section. Okay, the reading section, as if you haven't watched any of the uh, reading videos yet, you will learn the reading section is very difficult to complete in the time uh, in the time they give you. 60 minutes is not a lot of time to get through all the articles, all the essays, and answer all of the questions. So you need a strategy, okay? We've got uh, lessons on those strategies, and these lessons are important ones for you to watch and to practice in order to manage your time on the reading, okay? Similar with writing, okay? You've only got a very short amount of time to plan your essays, to write them, and to do editing at the end. So your job in the next couple of weeks is to learn about timing strategies and to practice them before the test, okay? 
All right. In addition to these things, you should try in the next couple of weeks to take two full length practice tests, if at all possible. If you can take more, that's great. Please remember that you should try to recreate the exam conditions as closely as you can. That means you need to have about two hours and 40 minutes to take the reading, writing, and listening uh, papers all together, all at the same time, okay? Because that's what it's going to be like for you on exam day. The speaking section is scheduled separately, so you can take a break or do what you need to do before you take the speaking section. But for your full-length exams, if at all possible, try to get the at least the timing exactly the same, okay? It also means, for the writing section, you should not be typing your answer. When you write practice tests, you should be writing them by hand. Okay, these things are important. This gets you ready for the test day and what the experience of taking the full test will be like. So try to take at least two full length exams and if you can do more, that's fantastic, okay? Every day you should be doing practice questions, okay? Do as many as you can, especially listening and reading questions. The more you do, the more you'll get familiar with those question types. So make sure that that's something you do every single day, okay? All right, so to review, if you have one to three weeks to study, your job is to learn about the test, learn about the IELTS exam, the basic information so that you know what to expect. You should do daily practice questions from all four sections of the exam, and if possible, you should try to complete two mock exams in the one to three weeks that you have, okay? I would prioritize these things over doing things to try to develop your English skills generally. It, you don't have enough time to really make big improvements to your English skills if you only have one to three weeks. So instead of spending hours on grammar study or on vocabulary study or any of these other things, uh, I would, if your time is very limited, focus on just learning about the test in the next couple of weeks. Okay. With all of that, if you put in the time, uh, even though it's a short amount of time, a couple of weeks, you can learn a lot and it can really help your score to know about the exam. Okay, so good luck with your studies.